what was going on without the knowledge or consent of his guests. Lil Rock claimed that Diddy allegedly kept the footage as leverage and for blackmail. But it was reported that the feds seized the tape during the raid earlier this year. Let me say, who is the, one of the few people in the entire entertainment industry of which I am officially a member of the entertainment industry, of the broadcast industry, professionally for at least 33, at least 33 years. Okay. So I've got my degree. Philology is on point, if you know, if you know what I mean. But I have never attended a Diddy party, nor did I want to. That's not for me. The parties I did go to were more than enough for me. And I'm like, this is, this is not my cup of tea. No wonder why my husband's I mean, my husband, we had lots of fights about the industry. And I realized, it wasn't just about the industry, but now I realized it was the industry didn't help. Because uh, he, he, you know, had a battle with alcoholism. And unfortunately, I wasn't helping. Uh, because I, I really hadn't experienced that life myself. I've never been an alcoholic ever. My my drinking problem is, you know, three drinks and I'm done. Two drinks, really, I'm done. So at the minimum, at, after about two drinks, I start getting sick. My, my body has an automatic throw-up system that I'm like, my body has a kickback. Like, I don't know about your old body, but my body has a kickback in it. It will kick, it will, ah, it will come out. Food, whatever it is, it's like. So I really need to listen more to my body because as you get more aligned, as you get more in tune, your body will let you know, you know, what it has and what it doesn't have room for. And as you get healthier, your body will let you know. Like, I still love peanut butter. Like, look, look, I mean, look, look, like, look, I, 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 I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up because I love peanut butter, but peanut butter does not love me. And it's all the stuff that they put in the peanuts. Peanuts aren't what they used to be. None of the food is not what they used to be. You need to ask people who see if you were in or around military people or, or in and around people of, of all uh, of all persuasions who've come across the seas and stuff like that. Ask them why they don't like our food over here. We're supposed to be more evolved, but they're healthier. They live to be 103. If we, if we live to be 101, 102, that is a miracle. But it shouldn't be. But somebody knows that. Greedy people know that. Genocide by any other name is still genocide. Hashtag insanity. And it's right before your eyes, but you don't know what you see, but you want to be mad at me. Anyway, where was I going with this? Anyway, though, your body will let you know. So drinking, uh, no, I never went to none of those parties because they always looked at me like I was the narc. Narc now is like, you know, narcissist. But narc then was like a narcotics agent. Like, well, okay, if she's not doing what we do, then she must be a narc, an undercover cop. I wasn't. I just don't. I just don't coke out. I was. I wasn't even. I wasn't even smoking during that time. Actually, I wasn't even smoking like that. I wasn't even smoking. Period. I was smoke with my husband because he smoked, but not a lot. Not a lot. Not. Don't, don't get me wrong. Don't even. Don't. Don't get. I mean, he had his problems. He had. I mean, come on, Robinson County. Come on, Robinson County. Come on, Robinson County. God damn, Robinson County, North Carolina, do your research on that, and that's that. North Carolina in, in, in general. I mean, come on, let's be real. You go down Spring Lake, is that weed I'm smelling? Yes. Yes. And moving on. So I'm just saying, though, but the thing about it is the music industry, the shit that these people be on, the ego trips, and I'm not one for ego. I'm a good kid. I do my work. I work hard. But people and their egos get way out of control. And then they literally want to come on and control you and roll up on you, too. I was a different breed for all of them. And those who know knew. Oh, Val Jones will fuck you up or curse you out. She's not that type. And still people don't get it. And they say, well, I like that. I see what I like and I'm going to get it. Fucked around and find out you can't just get anything you want like that. Who the fuck are you? I'm not this dizzy little bitches or these dizzy little models that you roll up and you roll through. Fuck you mean. Goddamn motherfucking industry plants and all that shit. You know, I, I mean, you know what? I gave you life. I gave many of you life and love. And I did the damn thing in the Edge magazine and, and, and the way I broke records at every radio station I was ever at. And then you come to me over the last several years with that crap. Fuck what you think about me. You need to think about who the motherfucker that sent you to me and deal with that. That's what pissed God off. If you didn't believe in God or a goddess, I think you do now. But you don't have to listen to me. Go ahead and work it out. Speak among yourselves. I'm good. I'm good. I'm real good. And I might be someone else, but I'm not that someone else. Bitch, 
don't y'all come up in my face with that dumb shit. Don't ask me for shit if you haven't given to my pot. You'll give to these thoughts, but you won't put nothing in my pot, and I'm supposed to lift you up? Who the fuck you think I am? Oh, Jesus, the one you slayed? Sorry. Hello? Hello? Jesus? Jesus Christina? Jesus Christina? Jesus, Jesus Christina? Oh, wait. Jesus Christina is not here. She's gone. Anyway, uh, and so they fear uh, the karma that's come on. Well, you reap what you sow. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas is every day for me, yo, and I am the Ranger Ranger Show. Anyway, that's your story for today. But what was I talking about in the industry, yo? My, how it's coming down. It deserved it. Bye-bye to the clowns. Bye! <laughs>